In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi name, your password, and some other Wi-Fi settings within the Deco app. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to dive into the Deco app and I'm going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi name, your password, even the security type as well as some other Wi-Fi settings. Now if you haven't set up your Deco system yet, you will want to check this video out that I'll post up in the top right hand corner. This goes through a full setup of specifically the Deco M5 system, but most of the Deco systems work the same. So you'll want to watch that and then come on back to this one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. To get started, find and open up your Deco app. So we're going to tap on Deco. And then in the bottom right hand corner of it, you should have a 3 by 3 grid of some squares. Tap on that. That'll take us into some settings. And then we're going to tap on the Wi-Fi option up there in the top left hand corner. Right here are your Wi-Fi settings. You have the ability to enable or disable independently the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. So if you don't want 5 gigahertz, you can turn that off or vice versa. If you don't want 2.4, you can turn that on or off as well. The way Deco systems work is if your phone or whatever mobile device can utilize a 5 gigahertz network or whatever is strongest, it's going to automatically automatically connect to that because the Deco system combines the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz network into the same SSID or the, the same uh, Wi-Fi name. So again, you can turn those on independent, on and off independently. Network name right here, this is your SSID or your network name. You can see this by tapping on it. You can change it, whatever you want. Of course, you've got the password there as well that you can go through and change. And then you've got your security right here. Default is typically WPA2-PSK. If you're a little bit more of an advanced user, you can tap on that and choose either none or the other type of security. Just for default, I like to just keep it the way it is, so I choose the WPA-PSK. And then of course, if you don't want your network to be seen when other devices are trying to search for networks or Wi-Fi networks, you can tap this little toggle switch right here and this will hide your Wi-Fi from a network list. So pretty cool. Whenever you have your settings set within this, you're gonna to want to tap on save up in the top right hand corner and you can get a little arrow indicating that it's saving those changes. Scrolling down a little bit further, you have the option to have a guest network. So if you want to toggle on a guest network, you can toggle the switch on or off. Same thing with the frequencies or the bands, you can toggle those on and off independently and you can isolate it from your main network. So if you have any type of storage drives on your main network with like photos or videos or things like that, and you don't want people that are on your guest network to access those, you can toggle the isolator from main network switch and it will prevent those two devices from talking to each other. Same thing with here, you can change the network name on there and the password and the security. So if you just tap on that once again, you can change whatever network name you want on there. You can add a security because guest networks typically will default to a no security. So you can tap on that, choose a security, and then of course you will need to have a password. And then once you're there, you can tap on save once again. And that is all there is to it. Very simple stuff. The Deco app makes it very user friendly and easy to do. I will post up the Deco system that I use down in the video description. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it, you got something out of it. If you do have any other questions or comments, reach out to me down below and I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I can. Once again, thanks for watching. If you got something out of it, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. If you want to help us out in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Got a lot of cool merch that you can check out over there. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for you guys' support, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>